All right, so remember, there's a couple of different ways to hit this weight pool. Oh, oh. Okay, you can hit it short. Something around here is where I usually have it at. That's the distance. Or you can have it all the way back here and double it up. And this is gonna give the dog more extension. All right. The more extension is gonna rip the muscle more in a good way, shred the muscle more because of that rib, that long extension. But going short um, works certain areas as well better. I'll give you an example. When you do biceps at the gym, you know, sometimes you do your biceps, but you're only coming up, coming down halfway, you're coming back up, coming down halfway, coming back up so that you can keep that pressure on that bicep and get that blood flowing to it. Same way. And then you can work out the biceps where you come all the way down and then you come all the way up and you hold, you squeeze and you come all the way down and you come all the way up. Now that's going to do a little bit more to your arm. Same way with the weight pulling. All right. More extension. It's going to give you a certain workout and less of the extension, less of the chain. It's going to give you another kind of workout. They're both good workouts. You got to mix them up. Some, some days you run them long, some days you run them short. Or maybe while well, you run them short for a little bit, let them get uh, nice and pumped and get that blood flowing. And all of a sudden you hit, put, put them on the longer chain and let them start shredding. Let them start really pulling and getting deep into those muscles or vice versa. Remember, it's always good to do multiple workouts in a training session. Like I was saying in another video, now that I uh, hit him with this uh, weight pull now, we did a quarter mile one way, quarter mile back. I'm gonna run him. I'm gonna run him right after this. I'm gonna take this off of him. I'm gonna cool him down, put some water all underneath him.